This video explains how to reference sources in your paper according to APA Style 6th edition. Whenever you use a direct quote or paraphrase a source, you must cite it both in the text of your paper and in your reference list at the end of your paper. In your paper, when you refer to a source you've read, like a journal article or a book, you refer to it by the author's last name and include the year it was published. You can put both the author's last name and year in parentheses at the end of the sentence. Notice that the period goes outside the parentheses. Or you can incorporate the author as part of your sentence and just place the year in parentheses. If you are using a direct word-for-word -word quote that is less than 40 words, you must use quotation marks around it and include the page number so the reader can locate that quote in the original source. APA also encourages page numbers when you are paraphrasing as well. You can place the author's name, the year, and page number in parentheses at the end of the quote. Or reference the author in your sentence with the year in parentheses and place the page number in parentheses at the end of the sentence. If you are using a quote that is 40 words or more, you should use a block quote. Start the block quote on a new line and indent the entire quote a half inch. Block quotes should be double spaced and you don't need to use quotation marks. Notice the period goes before the parentheses. Sometimes you might not be able to find all the required information. For example, what if you have an online source that has no page numbers? Or the author's name is not listed? Or what if you're unable to determine the publication date? For direct quotes where there are no page numbers, use a paragraph number or cite the heading, if there are any, and the number of paragraphs following it. If you don't have an author, use the first few words of the title instead. Use quotation marks around the titles of articles, book chapters, or web pages. Italicize the titles of journals, newspapers, books, or entire websites. If the date cannot be determined, use the abbreviation n.d. for no date. At the end of your paper, you should have a reference list containing full citations for all of the sources you quoted or referred to in your paper. Like the rest of your paper, your reference list should be double-spaced with 1-inch margins using 12-point Times New Roman font. Do not put references in larger, colored, bold, or italicized font. References should all be in alphabetical order by author's last name. The first line of each reference is aligned left. Additional lines are indented. How you format your citations will depend on the type of source you're citing. For specific information, check out our other videos on how to cite a book, ebook, website, journal article, or government document. Or go to the Mun Library's website and check out our full APA guide and chat live with library staff.